They've been trying to paint a narrative about me, how I'm angry, moving with violence. I done snap. Throw a narrative out there that all the men in my family are violent, and so I must be violent. what I was saying and uh, that made you look horrible <laughs> you look just like the buck dancing boy I said you were you actually thought that was going to work now I asked you to stop talking basketball with me because I wasn't talking basketball and, uh, and you did all that to show stuff that the average everyday person can go find on the internet on their own I didn't understand that. I think it was uh, childish. I think it made you look stupid. And I think you continued the narrative and kind of proved what I was saying to be right. But uh, if you thought that was doing something, that's it. But before we get into the numbers, let's talk about how this man blatantly lied on national television. He said he never got personal with me. He must think y'all stupid for real. I said he think y'all stupid. He said, no, I've never got personal with Kwame Brown. You don't even call, pronounce my name like my mother pronounced my name. And Jalen Rose was trying to explain that to you. Shout out to Jalen Rose again. And then you came back with the same disrespect. It's like nobody can get your little effeminate ass in line with the respect that men deserve. You always have to have another reason to keep furthering the disrespect. And, and that's what's wrong with you. You're a feminine boy. And uh, this proves it because a man stands on truth and you got on TV and lied. You also said that uh, I attacked uh, Stephen Jackson and Matt Barnes and neither one of them said nothing to me personally. It wasn't a personal attack. It was just about the game, okay? And maybe you believe that to be true because you know, you were auditioning for a job 20 years ago, 20 something years ago, because you wasn't shit. And uh, you auditioned based on the fact that you wanted to disrespect guys further. Because I think the excuses you make, like your knee blew out, and I think you a woulda, coulda, shoulda ass nigga. So you're a little bit jealous of athletes because you think you are one. That's why everybody that don't believe that you won, you get them fired, you know? You one of them guys. So you found the way you can't do so you found a way to talk and run your mouth, and that's how you got seen. But we're just going to expose how you don't stand on no truth, though. So uh, Matt Barnes wasn't personal. So uh, um, they stop a fact, right? They stop a factual talking point that somebody was trying to make, because I know in your world, facts don't matter. But it was three people in that trade. It was me, Javaris Crittenden, and, Kwame, and Mark Gasol. Uh, so she remembered too. That's cool. You stopped her, Matt Barnes, from stating a fact only to diminish me like I'm so insignificant that I don't need to be mentioned in a trade. And then both of you start giggling like schoolgirls. But I noticed you were so respectful to Jeremy Lin. Shout out to Jeremy Lin because uh, I'm not a hater. But I know you, you're fitting my narrative. Then... They wasn't disrespectful. They go into their individual podcasts or individual live streams and say my life at Jack, say my life is dirt. My life is nothing. I buried myself. I'm a bust. I'm a bum. And I'm clout chasing. That's not personal. Uh, Matt Barnes said he know I'm hurt. He know I'm, I'm crying for help. Uh, <laughs> somehow this angry nigga that jump over gates is somehow the most controlled uh, Stuart Little a uh, psychologist, a psychotherapist now. He knows everything about somebody else when he can't keep a woman and can't stop jumping over gates to fight my well, Okay. And then he invited me to a boxing match when I'm the only one that wasn't talking about no fighting. So if that ain't disrespect, I don't know what it is. If that's not personal, I don't know what it is, Mr. Lion Steven Snitch. Uh, you also said Charlemagne is not, was never personal with me. First of all, me and Charlemagne should have never crossed paths. Remember, I'm a bus. I don't deserve to be on the Breakfast Club. So it's so coincidental that I speak of this go along, get along game that somehow now Charlemagne needs to talk about an old bus. 
after 20 years. Why does Charlemagne need to talk about a bust after 20 years? If it ain't no go along, get along gang and y'all running the same circle. See, you bitches easy to beat. I told you, you're done. The reason why I, I keep trying to tell them, bring out your stats and analytics because what you're saying is not going to make any sense if you really want to go down that uh, path. And that's why your uneducated ass just brought out a video. <laughs> I got hundreds of videos of me flying through the air dunking. So we just going to compare videos because we could do that all day. And that's stupid. That's childish, Mr. Stephen A., that you didn't answer one question of what, who the fuck sent you to those colleges? Who sent you to those colleges, boy? And why are you sitting there lying saying that nobody disrespected me when Charlemagne the God got up there and talked about my entire family? This man told me things about my family that I didn't even know. And all of that is because he want to protect the go along, get along game because allegedly he has a large stake in all the smoke podcast. So then I need to be doxxed by Charlemagne and that little leash wearing bitch, Angela, uh, not Angela Yee, uh, uh, DJ Envy, Becky with the bad hair, cause you going bald, you stressed out. You need to go ahead and get a divorce so you can walk up straight, nigga. Cause right now, nigga, you look like the hunchback of no, you just walk around like you look sad. I bet you, ooh, Lord, she probably use you as a doormat when you go in the house. Walk all over your punk ass. You so soft. Don't stand up nothing, punk. I bet you can't even ask her to go to the grocery store. Hell no, I ain't going to the grocery store. Get the bitch you cheated on me with to go to the grocery store. Well, you just living a hard life. You can pretend all you want to on that goddamn TV screen. But even you, Charlemagne, you still was acting all stupid up there a little bit. Can't give a black man respect at all, can you? You there for like the little puppet, the comic relief to disrespect everybody, to make your white zaddy happy, ain't you? But, Stephen A., you lied in front of the whole world, boy, and you did more help for me and, and the we the people than anything with that video you just did, boy. I told you, quick saying ain't gotta work hard to expose you dumbass people. You so used to fighting from the same playbook, let's dox them, let's disrespect them, and if that don't work, let's say he crazy. If that don't work, let's try to lock them up. If that don't work, you better not try that. Shit's sad, man. You can't even tell the truth. You lied 20 years ago. You've been lying for 20 years, and you're lying now. You show a bloopers video. Man, you can type in the average NBA player, especially ones that ain't the super all-star, and even they got plays. <laughs> especially the guys like me that was just role players or whatever else. Uh, we got a lot of bloopers. Shit, we don't never get the ball. <laughs> But Stephen A, this ain't about me, boy. We gonna show your blue. So Stephen A, try again, motherfucker. You didn't prove your point. The only thing you proved is that I was right about a go along, get along game that sat there. And if you ain't a part of the group, all the attack is on you. I'm having everybody coming out speaking now. Dr. Boyce Watkins now is somehow in old Busty Bus Lane. And, and that, that's crazy. I don't understand how so many people try to insert themselves in something that they may not necessarily understand. So why get in it? I'm not in your lane, sir. You're too educated to be talking about this type of dumb shit. If you don't agree with what I'm saying, cool. You could have reached out to me on behind the scenes like you did. Hey, you can't put the N-word in there. And as much as I've been watching YouTube, boy, y'all have been able to say whatever you want to say. You can't put the N-word up there if you're saying something against the go-along, get-along game. Then you got to be perfect. Then you got to watch everything. That's sad. Stephen Nate, you got up there and said nobody disrespected him. Mm -mm -mm. That's a shame. Pew D shame. Man, offer me to his penis, and that ain't disrespect, sir. Huh? Boy, mama's cooking and woke up the world, boy. <laughs> that was dumber than I was watching that like, I was shocked at him. I said, no, he didn't just do this elementary shit. I was I, like, I don't know why, but I honestly thought that you was come, you were gonna come with something better than that. And you got up there and made a fool out your goddamn self, boy. Looking like the buck dancing little hoe you is. And boy, you was, ooh, you was in character real good, boy. <laughs> I think you're gonna need a new job though. I think you need to go sign up for the WWE because all you do is talk. You need to be a WWE promoter.
Bruh, this don't make no sense. You embarrassed. I mean, half black of uh, the black men in America doing that, what you just did. You are a buck dancing boy. <laughs> and I don't know why y'all keep protecting these. Why y'all protecting these people? Y'all still think I'm lying? <laughs> this son bitch got up there and did everything I said that they would do. I done been called violent. I done been called waking up with violence. And now I'm understanding that this is some type of TV show. Which I don't understand. Why does that have any relevance to me? And then coincidentally, same day I woke up with violence on a TV show, allegedly, uh, I'm, my whole family is being docs. And at the same time, some man in, in California is inviting me to his penis. So all three of those things happen <laughs> the same day. But nobody disrespected me. I'm just a crazy basketball player that's just mad because people talking about how bad I was at basketball. But they've been doing it for 20 years. And now I snap. If we just keep it singular towards basketball, then yeah, they're going to keep running these clips and going back and forth. He needs to answer some real questions. Why did you come here and single-handedly change the landscape of how we talk about black males in sports? Because literally, when Stephen A arrived, we started getting disrespected. But uh, yeah, we, we got to change the way these athletes have to get tortured by men and women that just pay them for a game. When, when, when a person is at dinner, when a person is just walking, he deserves to have decent uh, respect. I didn't have to deal with all that because as much as they talk shit about me on the internet, when people see me out, they don't, nobody's just walking up to me saying bust it, bust. Because I would look at them like, bitch, you don't pay me, so what the fuck is you talking to me like that for? And <laughs> we would have a nice conversation. So that doesn't, that doesn't happen to me. So I, I just wish people would get back to common respect. I hate seeing, um, I hate bullies. And I think a lot of the players, uh, when they're dealing with Stephen A, they only befriend him because they don't want him to bully them. And he knows that. Psychologically, this is the most power Stephen A has ever had in his life. And he doesn't have any. I'm proving it to you. He's a weakling. That's why he just put up a video. We got to stop judging people just because we don't like the person. We actually have to, we need to talk to more people that we don't like. Those are the people that you're going to learn from the most. The who, the why, the what, the when. That's all you got to bring back. The who, the why, the what, and the when. But all this, uh, y'all, we got this mob mentality. It's like this. Y'all done brought the streets to the politics, to the internet, to everywhere, because everybody mobbed up. It's crazy, man. Everybody want to get in the bus lane now. But the bus lane got the, see, the bus got the people on it. The bus got the, the children on it. The bus got every, the bus is full. But when, when we come through with that bus, everything got to stop behind that bus. When we open that, everything got to stop behind that bus. And that bus full with the people. So that's what they didn't understand. I didn't come to this internet talking about, oh, I'm a bad motherfucker. Oh, I wasn't no bus. Let me show you the data, the analytics. I ain't no If you want to go that route, then I got, you know, I'll contact my agent and then he can break it down and explain it to you. Very simple. <laughs> show you minutes played. When I play 30 minutes or more, it'll be a very easy day. Because <laughs> when I play 30 minutes, you can match them up with some of the best, buddy. <laughs> but that's not the overall point. The overall point is that you're doxing black males. And I believe, my opinion, was you were put in place to get this one and done rule accomplished and now this G League accomplished. And now you sit there and you bash almost every black player, no matter how good they are. I can see if you only bash the black players that you thought didn't play well. But sir, Kyrie Irving is on your list. Kevin Durant is on your list. Uh, a lot of players are on your list that's not in your go-along, get-along game. Those are the ones that you will go at just like <laughs> no other. So Westbrook is on, definitely on your list. And we, how in the hell is Westbrook on your list? Okay, I'm a bug. Didn't Westbrook, Jalen Rose uh, pointed out that Westbrook averaged a triple-double for like not one year, no, not two years, but I think it was damn three years in a row. How can you talk bad about a man that averaged a triple-double for three years straight? 
Allegedly. How? Forget me. How did you do that? A guy like you. What get, I don't hear Shaq talking about guys the way you do. And these guys earn the right to be able to, to get a little edgy and a little disrespectful. You ain't earned nothing. So people are starting to see. You can't fool people for too long. People are starting to see. How the hell y'all going to say this and to say that? People are so, going to start doing their own investigation, Mr. Stephen A. And it's not just me that you doxing the way you doing, boy. It's a lot of these athletes. It's football players, baseball players, anybody black. And it's usually around their contract year or the year before. Every time some money involved, they bring your little bitch ass out. They still get signed. But every time there's some money involved and a player about to get some money, here comes Stephen A. Here comes some type of allegation. And then Stephen A. just takes it overboard with no facts. No conviction. It's just you take over with your mouth and paint a narrative. Just like y'all been trying to paint a narrative. They've been trying to paint a narrative about me. How I'm angry. Moving with violence. I done snap. Throw a narrative out there that all the men in my family are violent. And so I must be violent. And I must have snapped. All the while you protecting your pockets. Look at what they do to the boys from the hood in America. Because Charlemagne worried about his pockets, he'll get up there and dox me the way he did. He'll get up there and try to pretend like we friends. And I never talk to this punk bitch. To, I would never even be friends with a nigga like you. Because no friend of mine would ever think to do something like that. So I know an award-winning author is not as dumb as you tried to make yourself look. So fuck you.